Hello everyone and welcome back to the far, far away range. And we are currently lost, exactly where we left off last time. I have wandered into some sort of odd place. This is what I get for jumping through the stomach of a gordo. I really, I really shouldn't assume that I'm going to get anywhere other than tremendously lost if you're going to jump straight into a gordo's open jaws and the teleporter that they were hiding. And who knows what attracted those little slimes to turning into a gordo on top of the teleporter, but apparently it was a... Uh, the the path to this area and I do approve because I wow I just shot a chicken I just shot a hen hen I didn't mean to I was just trying to point I am so sorry hen hen you should be pretty safe in there though I was I was gonna point at the really adorable little puddle slime and then things got a little more intense than I expected but yes yeah, so welcome back um we are kind of trying to keep an eye out and wiggle our way over towards the brand new ancient ruins which you guys have hinted are waiting for me over in the indigo quarry but oh Oh, the poor hen hen. It's, 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 it's a, it's a little plort now. <laughs> oh, such is the way of this world. Oh my goodness. But yes, so I am trying to wiggle my way towards the ancient ruins. And to do that, you guys have hinted I probably need to head back towards Endro Quarry. So we probably won't linger here too long. But I have to admit, I am kind of enjoying the fresh harvest of ripe pogo fruit. Let me go ahead and gather up some of that. I thought it was really cute. I saw some pogo fruit floating in the water a second there. I have to say, the water is looking absolutely beautiful. They are tweaking. Oh! Oh, look at that, that's so cute. Ah, that's adorable. Oh, I love watching it. It just is like falling. Oh, why is that so cute? Why is it as cute as you are? Huh, do you want to come say hello? You are one cute tabby. You are one cute little tabby Largo and he is just like popping into the water to eat. I wish I could keep you. You remind me a lot of my honey mint except you're like a pogo, a pogo tabby instead. Oh, and there's a little slime playing sims. I love it when they do that. All right, come here, buddy. I want to get a good look at you because you are so cute. No, come here, come here. Good look, good look. Now hold still. Nope, nope, nope. Turn back towards me. I have a secret thing I want to try to do with you. Okay, and now he's back in the water. Oh my gosh, and that is just too cute. Jumping around with little pogo fruit. It's almost like they're playing with little boats. Okay, I could watch that way too long. All right, we're going to keep moving because we have some ancient ruins and other mysterious discoveries to try to find. I'm going to wiggle this way, going to wiggle that way. Here's a big pile of rocks. You never know when you might stumble on a treasure chest. Always worth almost leaping to your doom. I don't know. Is that supposed to be a spot? Is that a treasure spot or is that just a series gonna fall into the ocean spot I think it's the latter. I gotta be more careful over here. All right. But we do have the Treasure Cracker Mach 3 now, which means should I come upon any treasure chest, I should now have the ability to crack them open. What the heck is that? Did you guys see that? Are you guys seeing this? I mean, those are birds. But I could have sworn that was like a flying tiny tar. Do I need to be really concerned about what's over here? Here's one of those little statuettes. So, and there's some of the coral pieces. Oh, and there's some slimy slimes popping out down there. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious. I don't know what is actually over here. But uh, I feel like I need to be a little bit concerned if I thought I saw, hello buddy. Oh gosh, you're so cute too. <laughs> Why is everybody so adorable today? I don't even know where I am. I mean, I guess that's okay. I, I could always try to figure out a way to get back to my farm, but hmm, hmm. I'm going to just be, uh, be aware that I need to be on the lookout. But the good thing about wandering around is it almost always leads to treasure. And this world is absolutely wonderful about uh, rewarding you for poking into places you probably shouldn't be. Because then you've got little treasure pods! And who knows what might be inside the treasure pods? I'm really hoping for one day being able to find a straw hat for honey mint. That would be... Absolutely perfect. Can I get on top of this little cliffside? Whoop, there's a little, hmm. Hmm, okay, hmm. There's a bridge. Now what's this? Whoa, okay, let's jump down here. You never know. Interesting. A little fence. There's never a fence. I mean, really, think about it. There's there's a fence right here. No fence to the right, no fence to the left. What, why, I mean, I would say it's a lazy job, but I feel like there's more of a store into this fence. Possibly not. Possibly it's just, um, 
it's just okay. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the most effective thing in the world since it doesn't have more fence, but I'm keeping an eye on that. Or is that supposed to tell me to fly out to that little island? You're almost always rewarded for flying to the little islands, but is that going to kill me? I don't know. I don't know. I should probably be brave, huh? The birds are over there. I'm going to do it. Okay, please don't, please don't kill me. All right, so I'm jumping on to the little islands, admiring the view. You know, this would be the moment when you would expect like a kraken slime of some kind to come over and just yank you out of the water or yank you into the water with the giant tentacles. That would be kind of cool if there was a kraken slime. All right, it looks like these are just some rocks and I have now nearly stranded myself. Um, let's make a good jump. <gasps> For a second there, I thought my jet wasn't working. That was an amazing feeling of falling to my utter doom. Wow, whew. All right, deep breaths, huh. And I guess we'll just relax and uh, do a little bit of poking. The slime seemed to be pretty well behaved. <gasps> That's a treasure chest. I told you guys we'd be rewarded with poking around the place. Oh, I'm so excited. What's inside? There's little mushrooms all around it. It's quite lovely. <gasps> the cute fashion pod. You guys, you guys, we can stick a little bow on Honeyman's head. Or maybe we could stick the bow on a whole bunch of my tabby slime's heads. Oh, that would be so cute. I didn't know that the cute fashion pod existed. Happy day. This was already, um, already a good idea. It's already definitely paid for the adventure. All right, so let's wiggle this way. Let's try not to get into any trouble. I've got pogo fruit and uh, stony hen hens at the ready in case I run across any, any particular... Oh, 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 there's a little chest over here. Any particular slimes, rare slimes that may need it. All right, that's a phosphor slime. We've got a good old pogo fruit right down here. A nice old carrot. Um, oh, there you go, buddy. And, and meanwhile, he ate the cute berry. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Be careful. It's, uh, I mean, the stars are starting to come out. But phosphor slimes can actually be hurt if they are out during the daytime. So hopefully he'll be cautious. All right, so that made me pretty happy. We've already found one of the little treasure pods that I really wanted. I didn't even know there was like a cute, a cute thing treasure pod that we could get. Can I jump onto this ruin thingy? Eh, nope, not gonna let me. All right, that's fine. So now do I go home? Is, is it just, is the poking done? Am I safe here? Somehow, it, oh, <gasps> what? It's another Gordo, you guys. You guys, we found the big one. We found a pretty big one. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, I would say this is um this is a fair size slime. And oh, I didn't even I didn't even see that we have like a whole little mysterious area right over here to poke too. So I gotta feed this guy. Do I have enough pogo fruit? All right, now that I know, having read the slime pedia last time, that the gordos are not actually uh they're not actually like a big big slime. They're a whole bunch of slimes that smushed themselves together and merged into a large slime. And so I don't feel as guilty about making these guys explode anymore because they they just turn into more slimes. So let's go ahead and feed him. Gonna give him some pogo fruit. And then you gotta eat your veggies. So let's give him like lots and lots and lots of carrots. So they'll have a nice healthy diet. And I'm out of carrots and I don't want to feed him a hen hen. So give me just a second. I gotta find a little harvest of something to feed the gordo. Let's see. Where's something? There's a pogo fruit. I was busy watching everybody eat the pogo fruit. Um, Let's see. There's a whole bunch of happy slimes over here. So I've got to find more fruits and vegetables for a healthy, balanced diet for that Gordo. Um, it is unfortunately a little bit, a little bit uh, of an unhealthy slime. You know, you gotta, you gotta eat your fruits and veggies when you need to sort of reset your diet. Uh, let's see, am I gonna jump through here? I mean, I, there's the way back at least, but I need to feed the Gordo. So let's look around. There has to be a few places where the slimes haven't already eaten the food. All right. There you go. I don't think you can feed the Gordo plorts. That would be kind of interesting. Maybe I'll try feeding him plorts. Also, this is an adorable little slime. Are you comfy there? Are you hiding in the bushes and feeling quite comfy? I think he's quite comfy. All right. Um, I mean, on the off chance we can feed the Gordo plorts, why not gather up a few? Who knows? Maybe I'll learn something new today. Eh, eh, there we go. Well, okay, and now let's get the water gun ready because we've got our guest. There we go, a few uninvited guests. They even took the carrots, how rude. And I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for, let's see. Keep my eyes peeled for those tars. So let's go ahead and grab up some water. Make sure that I am ready. Have our water gun ready. Little did I know that I would grow up and need a water gun to defend my own life. All right, almost full. There we go. Okay, 
So I don't think I have any other places I can gather up any food because there were so many hungry slimes and they ate all the food that was over here. Um, so I may have to leave and come back to this corridor. I mean, look, these trees have been plucked bare by hungry, hungry slimes. So, hmm, I don't want to- oh, 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 we found a spot. You guys, you guys, there we go, heartbeats. Hopefully this will work. All right, so there's five heartbeats. Uh, any food from up here? I don't think there's any food up here. So we've got a little bit more food we can offer the Gordo. What happens if a tar meets a Gordo? Do they eat the tar? Because I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if like he just ate the tar. Look at him. Look at him. Isn't that beautiful? There is something quite lovely about him. Alright. Pogo fruit, my friend. Fruits and veggies, fruits and veggies. Good for your heart. Gosh darn you. <laughs> I want you to, to explode. And I, I mean that in a loving way. Where I'm trying to help out your diet here. Alright, let's see. Can I find any more? Whoa, where am I now? Oh, there's a heartbeat. All right, good good little plant. Uh, I might have to poke around here. Wow, I'm on the other side. <gasps> I'm on the other side of those ruins. Oh, this is so pretty. I like this area. All right, let's jump up here. Eh, there's a tree. Oh, 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 there's a little bit of sand. I wish I, 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 wish I could like sift through it because it looks like this is one of the first places I've seen what appears to be evidences or evidence, I should say. Oh, what's that? <gasps> what's that in the distance? I spy with my little eye something that looks like a column uh, and I guess I've seen lots of other columns and statues in the past but never something that jumped out at me as this bricky. The columns though, I forgot about those and those definitely count. Evidence of ruins past. <gasps> Look you guys! We have stumbled right into a glorious flower field with some treasure right in the middle of it. So let's see what this treasure- <gasps> even better it's got heartbeats behind it too! The Violet Warp Depot, nice. I think I already had two Warp Depots, but that'll definitely help me out. So that I can go out and I can uh, zip, oh, there's another heartbeat. I can zip from place to place a little faster in this world. Look, and it loops all the way back around to my, my base teleporter, interesting. So I think I've made a full circle of the zone then. And we'll have to see if three heartbeats is enough to fill the very, very hungry needs. Oh, what's this? This is cute! It's like a little base camp spot. Nice. Nice. I like it. I wonder if I can put anything up here. Let's see. I don't see any spots to leave to leave my little machineries. Aha! They're all down there. That's why. And the pogo fruit are slowly but surely regrowing on that. What? Was that a rad slime plort? I could have sworn I just saw a rad slime plort. Hey now, you guys be good. I see you're getting along. Nobody turn into a tar, okay? All right, they should get along, all right. All right. All right, come here, Mr. Gordo. You're almost there, you're almost there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I, I protect the Hinhins. I am the protector of the Hinhins. But you're so close to just exploding. Oh, this is so frustrating. I know you're close. I want to feed the hen hens to him. I truly do, but then I feel a little bit bad because normally I protect the hen hens. All right, let's jump down here. Oh, the little pogo fruit are so cute. Look at them. And they're so not ready to harvest. All right. I I can't bring myself to do it, you guys. Whoa. No, no, no. I'm okay. No gifts needed. No gifts needed of this special moment, but I can't bring myself to feed the hen hens to him. It's just too much. I, I protect the hen hens. So we're going to pop back home. Whoa, that's a little bit dizzying. Whoa, look, pogo fruit, pogo fruit. No, whoa, okay, oh my gosh, that's gonna make me motion sick. Hold still, careful, careful. And there should be pogo fruit that I can collect from over here. And there's a whole bunch of chickens hanging out over here, a little roosteroo. Um, oh my. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not fall into the water. What is with everybody? Everyone's jumping into the water like lemmings. I don't understand. Is there like a tar chasing them into the water? Who knows? <gasps> pogo fruit! Yes! All right, this should be plenty of pogo fruit to help out that big old Largo. I love it when they dance together like that. It's so cute. And then, oh, stony chicks, stony chicks, or chick chicks, chicks, come to me. Come to me, little ones. I'll protect you. Oh, come quickly, little one. Oh, they're so innocent and cute. Okay, I've collected up all of the uh, the chickadoos and the stony chicks. So we should be able to keep them safe. Um, I wonder if leaving them over here would help. All right, I'm gonna leave the little stony chick and the chickadoos here. They've got a they've got a wonderful rooster, uh, rooster daddy to take care of them. No, <laughs> and oh, oh no, not safe, not safe. I thought it was safe, but there was a tabby slime. 
<laughs> okay, but I think that the whole little group, look at them. Oh, they're so cute. I think they'll be safe as long as they stay over here. Do you understand? Peck once for yes. Okay, good job. Nope, not good job. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, hopefully the Chikadus will stay where they belong. I, I know I'm spending too long fussing over them, but look at them. They're so adorable. All right, if you guys are still here when I come back, I'll take you home with me. Oh, they're so cute. All right, and we're gonna jump and whoop, we're back. And there's a phosphor slime looking lovely. Flying by, a couple extra carrots in case we need a bonus vegetables to feed to the big old Gordo. And let's do this, because I think we need to pop that Gordo in order to have the key that we might have to use to open the ancient ruins gate. So, oh, little, little innocent chickadoos. Come to me, little chickadoos. I don't have room to protect your parents too, but I can at least protect you. All right, now where the heck am I going? I have gotten myself all turned around chasing chickens. And it's a familiar sensation, to be honest. All right, up here, that's where we need to go. All right, and here's our big old Gordo. So let's go ahead and toss in some more pogo fruit. I know, oh, 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 Yay, it worked! You guys, what the heck? Dun, 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 it's the key! We got it! There we go, you guys. We just managed to snag one of the slime rancher keys. Oh boy. Oh no. It's a hen hen. It's a hen hen sacrifice despite my efforts. I couldn't even get in there fast enough. I couldn't even get in there fast enough to try to protect him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little hen hen. But we also have the cute bow, too. And we have managed to snag a few chickadoos. And we've got a slime key. So that's one of the things we definitely needed in order to reach the ancient ruins. So let's pop home. That's not too far away. All right, little chickadoos. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to leave a pile of ports. And we can bring these adorable little chickadoos. Did I get all of them? Yeah, I got all of them. And we'll bring the adorable Chikadoos back to the Hen Hen Rescue, the Hen Hen Sanctuary, also known as My Backyard. Ooh, and I forgot we had all of this fun stuff that we can come and collect in a little bit too. And let's go home and we're also going to check what will it take in order to make adorable little bows. So adorable little bows and ribbons for my honey tabbies. And it looks like they are 100%, almost 100% at least, out of their mint mangoes. So I'm going to have to come back and collect up some mint mangoes in a little bit. All right, you guys be good. I'm running away with my chickadoos. All right, so let's see. Stone, chickadoo, stone, chickadoo. Honey mint, honey mint, how's honey mint doing? Boink! All right, honey mint's doing good. I could definitely see putting a, a crown. I want to put a crown on honey mint's head more than anything. And let's release. There's a stone chickadoo. There you go, little ones. There you go. Be free. Be free with your new stony adoptive mothers. And everybody should be happy. Look at that. Oh, they're lovely. All right, and let's make sure to feed some of my slimes because if I don't feed my slimes, they will actually manage to blast themselves straight out of their enclosure, which is very, very dangerous for my precious honey mint. So I need to gather up some things to feed them. And I need to feed my, my tabbies, my uh, honey tabby largos. Definitely need some fresh food. So I need to plant some mangoes over there really quickly. And then, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. And look at you, honey mint. You have brought in so many, so many fresh harvest pieces. You've left plorts all over the place, my love. All right, there we go, there we go. Wonderful, honey mint, honey mint. Daily boop, daily boop, boink. Oh, I love you too, I love you too, honey mint. All right, I'm gonna leave the briar hens here. The other ones are wandering towards this area at their own risk. I'm gonna toss some mint mango, whoops a doops. I'm gonna toss some mint mango into the garden so that hopefully they will be able to eat enough. These guys are pretty hungry, it seems. Toss that to them. And there should be enough mint mango over here. Yeah, there's enough mint mango. You can see where the honey slime, the hungry tabular goes. End up coming over so that they can actually uh, eat off of the mints that fall from the tree. It makes collecting the plorts a little bit easier, actually. All right, hi guys, hi, I know, I'll try to bring you some more food soon. You guys are just so hungry and there's so many of you and it would be so cute to have them all with little bows or something of the kind, of the sort. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, and almost. 
And you guys can't eat carrots, so I'll have to come back and feed them something in a little while. All right, there's that. And a couple more honey plorts. And then we'll head out. We're, all right, and we're all done. All right, thank you for your patience, everyone. I just love checking in. Look at that jump. What a good jump. I love checking in on my apiary. But all right, so let's go over to the slime science research area. And then we are going to actually check what it will take to make that adorable, cute ribbon. And until we can have one of the other ribbons that we want to on our adorable honey mint, then that little bow will definitely do as a stand-in for the other cute things I can put on him. All right, let's gather these up really quickly. Make sure our slimes are fed because now they get a little bit more restless and restless slimes mean they might break out and then we'll have a tar invasion and that's just not the way to do things. All right, in you go, in you go, tabby plorts. Zip, 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 zip. All right, and honey plorts as well on oh, the familiar booms of my um, boom slimes. All right, we'll worry about that later. And let's see, do I need to buy the fashion pods? I'm gonna have to double check. Uh, dandy cute fashion pod sold out. So I think that the cute fashion pod, I have the dandy fashion pod. I have the cute fashion pod. I have the Google fashion pod and the clip on fashion pod. So I think I already have the cute fashion pod uh, schematic. And here it is, you guys. So to have the cute fashion pod, which will allow you to vac up fashionable accessories for your slimes, we need pink plorts, honey plorts, buzz wax, which, wow, we have over uh, uh, 200 things of buzz wax. I didn't realize we had so much. We need slime fossils and lava dust. So next time, my friends, I think we might have to go collect ourselves a little bit of lava dust. Um, it looks like we need the lava dust for the dandy fashion pod as well. That would be fun to make. So we'll go collect up some lava dust and we will go investigate the indigo quarry where rumor has it there's some beautiful ancient ruins waiting for us. So I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you're having fun and I really need, I need a vote. I need a vote. What should we put on honey mint? Should we put on the clip on fashion pod? Should we put on the dandy fashion pod? The cute fashion pod? The googly eyes even? Which one do you think that we currently have suits our wonderful honey mint? Or do you think I should just go for some clip on? and some cutes and put them on all of the honey tabby largos that we have over in the apiary. So let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.